What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Unplugged and Uncut. You are live with your boy, Unique. Today, I'm going to be getting into a trade that's been proposed between the Nets and the San Antonio Spurs. I'm going to break down the trade and then give you my grade for both teams. Before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps our channel out. Not to mention, we're giving away a ton of prizes. All you got to do to be entered to win is be an active subscriber and leave comments in the comment section. Without further ado, though, let's get right into this Brooklyn Nets. San Antonio Spurs proposed trade. In this trade, we're going to see the Nets receive Yaka Pirtle and Doug McDermott, and the Spurs receive Ben Simmons. Now, for a trade like this, I would actually give the Nets a grade of a B plus, even maybe an A minus. Why? Because they're picking up a starting center who's had an amazing start to the season, was actually the number two defensive center last year. He's pairing up that defense and bringing along 15 points this year. Not to mention his, his ability to pass from the top of the key and facilitate other players. They also get a three-point monster in Doug McDermott. Doug McDermott has come into the season hot again. Recently hit six threes or seven threes in one game. The man shoots at 42 to 45% clip for the last few years. So they're picking up excellent shooting and a starting caliber center. That's why I'm saying the Nets would get a B plus or even an A minus in this trade. For the Spurs, I'm actually going to give them a B plus as well. Why? Because Ben Simmons, even though he's not the superstar player that people thought he might be, he still is that Draymond-esque point forward, able to facilitate, really run the offense well, actually has more handle than Draymond. Ben Simmons is a legit guard with the basketball in his hands, can really move well, has a good handle and court vision. However, his inability to score the basket has really cost him and some of his reputation. So though he doesn't like to score the basketball as much, with this current young Spurs core, they have Keldon Johnson and Devin Vassell to get buckets. So I think they'd be okay with the scoring, adding Ben Simmons in there. This is also a way not to um, lose Yaka Pirtle for anything. Yaka Pirtle has already came out and said he's gonna test free agency due to the Spurs not being able to give him a large enough contract. And that's because the contract extension the Spurs can offer now is basically being affected by the current contract being so good that they signed him to. So this way you don't lose Yaka Pirtle for anything. You pick up Ben Simmons, who's a defensive mastermind, to pair with Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell, Jeremy Sohan, might have to play that five position, I guess, in this situation. Not sure how you would do that, guys. I'm not saying the Spurs or the Nets should do this trade. It's just a trade I noticed, and I thought I would give it a grade. Let me know what you think about the grade, though. Do you agree that the Nets would come out with a B plus and the Spurs would come out with a B plus in this type of trade where they're helping each other out? Spurs not losing Yaka Perta for anything. The Nets able to move off of Ben Simmons, bringing a defensive-minded center able to move Nick Claxton back to his natural oh, position of power that. forward. KD slides down to small forward. You might have oh, something that Doug McBuckets throwing flames up off the bench, just lighting up the nets. Oh, <laughs> ah, there we go. Lighting up the nets for the nets. <laughs> but that's all we got. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all like this trade? This is not a trade I proposed once again, guys. We're just grading the trade. And this one's coming from NBA analysts. Sound off and your boy is out. Peace.